So hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Now today I was supposed to be out doing something a little bit different. I was supposed to be out in the float tube on the Forgotten Ponds hitting pike using my brand new fly fishing setup that I've just got. So I treated myself over Christmas time to a brand spanking new uh, pike fly fishing setup. It's a nine weight so it's perfect for being able to cast out those bigger flies and also to be able to hook into the fish too and I really wanted to christen it and get one on the bank and I want to do that from the tube. Unfortunately I've been fishing for three or four hours now on two different Forgotten Ponds haven't even seen a single fish shower. I haven't seen a single roach. So I'm gutted. I've got maybe two and a half hours left of this session. That's it. So I'm very quickly trying to save myself. I've jumped onto the river now. And if you're watching this video, obviously I must have caught some fish. So what we're going to do is, like I say, got the fly rod, got some big flies, going to be walking down the river in my waders, packing super light. I've literally got everything I need in a pouch on the front and in my pocket. It's got my pliers and a couple of spare flies. I've stashed my float tube into some bushes. I'm going to wander down the river now and fingers crossed, put a few fish on the bank and christen my brand spanking new nine weight fly rod. And you never know, I might even catch a nice one too. Let's crack on. size pike. Oh, damn it. I'm going to walk up the stream so I can get a better angle on it. Damn it, you came after it. As soon as I was pulling it out of the water, we'll be able to get that pike. Got it. We got it. We got it. And we got the hook set. <laughs> so much fun on the fly gear. Look at that. We got him. We got him, boys. Really nice hook hole, too. Right in the top lip. There we go. Beautiful pike. Probably about three and a half to four pound. Three and a half, we'll give it. Yeah, beautiful fish. You nailed that fly right in front of me while I'm eating. Whoa, maybe get me. Cool, awesome size to catch as well. Massively bent my hook though. Pretty sure that would have been the biggest pike I've ever caught on a fly. Massively bent my hook though. There we go. It's not a double. Oh no. I didn't get a good hook set. Ah. My rod literally slipped in my hand as I went to strike. Massively bent my hook though. Miss it again. That was a perfect hook set. I can't believe that. So guys, I'm gutted. I've just lost a real, real nice pike. It could have been potentially a mid-double, 14, 15 pound. Definitely would have been the biggest pike I've ever had in a fly rod. So I'm pretty gutted about that. And the thing that I didn't realize, because I'm an idiot, is that 10 minutes before, maybe even five minutes before, when I just caught a little jack pike, I specifically said, the hook point is blunt. <laughs> and then proceeded to carry on fishing with it and lose a double figure, mid double figure pike, two, three, four times, whatever it was. Um, you guys in the comments, let me know how big you think that fish was, because I could see its head, it looked friggin' huge. So anyway, we're moving over. Now this is actually a fly I got given to me, um, 
from a couple of lads you might know, the Snag Bro lads. They gave me this fly last time I hung out with them. Um, it's one of their jig flies that they sell on the website. Now what I've done is I've taken the little chub weight off um, just to make it into a regular fly. And then what I have done is just to increase my hookup rate since I've uh, just lost a, a really, really nice fish, I've added an extra sort of stinger single hook on the back barbless and then i have had it added my own little curl tail which was actually off another fly so it's like the snag bro jig fly with a ginger fisherman twist to this one and uh, fingers crossed this thing will catch us a nice juicy pike let's crack on and see if we can get any more on the bank because this is going well so far I've probably still got i've been fishing about half an hour maybe i've probably still got another two hours left of this session that's awesome right let's crack on and get some fish on the bank here eh? There we go, there we go, there's a pike. We got it. Trying this slack, I didn't actually expect there to be one there, but there is. <laughs> Guess I wouldn't have cast her if I didn't think there might have been a fish there. Come on. Not a bad size for this river either, to be honest. Or if he's caught on the front hook or stinger hook. I think he's got both. Oh, he's not a bad one for this river. I ain't gonna lie. Now oh, he got caught on the main hook. I can only hook small ones. I can't, I can't hook big pike. There we go. Well, see, this one's reasonable. It's probably a pike of about four and a half to five pound. Maybe nearly scraping five pound. Really beautiful pike. They always look tiny when you hold them out like this, so it's gonna look tiny, but it's actually all right. Decent fish. See you later, big guy. Oh, there he goes. Just come from that slack water. That's what I target when I'm wading down the river. Um, in fact, one of the biggest pike I've caught out the river, I think, last year, and it was about 16 pounds, and it came from an area similar to this. It was just like um, underneath some water crest under the margin cast a dead bait out and it came out from right under the bank you never really know where they're going to be sure nine times out of ten pike are going to be in your main slack waters underneath trees behind tree branches that are falling in the water that's where generally the bigger ones are going to be but any kind of little slack water or cover is perfect for pike to hide in There's a pike. That's a good, that's a decent sized pike. Come on. If this fly will get a job done. It's coming. There we go. Whoa. What a hit. That's a decent sized pike. That's a decent sized pike. Oh. That is a good sized pike. That is a beautiful pike. Really nicely hooked. God damn. Uh, look at that rod bed. That is a good sized pike. Come on. Hooked right in the scissor. What a pike. God damn, that's a chunk. <laughs> God, let's pick up take a better look at this pike. Look at that hook out. It's really nicely positioned right in the scissor of the pike. Exactly where you want it when you fly fishing for pike. Oh, popped it out nice and easy. Going to get the comb on that now. 
get one look at it from the other side. Just so you can see how big its belly is. So I think you can see from that side, look at that bulging belly. Full of probably chub and uh, perch, I would presume, because there's quite a few nice sized perch out this way. And that's probably what these sort of nice sized pike are feasting on. Look at that, absolutely beautiful fish. Can't wait because it didn't bring any scales. Honestly, I was just pottering down the river today with fly rod, just see if I could christen my new fly rod and get a few pike. And uh, well, it's turned into an absolutely wicked session. Let's get this one rested and get it back. Beautiful. There's a pike. There we go. Whoa. There we go. Boy, oh, just come back. Small ones are harder to hug. I think it's because they've got no weight behind them. There we go. Got the hooks on that one. Just caught him on the back hook too. Gotta to put that extra hook on there. Finally managed to get a good hook set. Always the small ones are more difficult. Look at that, only just on the back hook. Great fun on fly. See you later. There we go, there we go. There we go. <laughs> That's an Adobe cast. <laughs> I'm not really paying attention to what I was doing. Because I've walked down this margin, I thought I'd spooked everything that might have been down there. Nope. Got a drag pipe, crushed it. And I nailed him on that trailer hook, so I'm kind of glad I put it on there. The bigger fish don't get hooked in it, but the smaller fish do. And because it's barbless, it slips right out. So another fish of probably three pound. Real good spot on the fly rod. And because we're still in the river, we can let them go nice and quick and easy. Don't need to mess around with them. I can see what looks like a pipe behind this tree. What a cast. Decent pike. There we go. Oh, okay, a bit smaller than I thought. <sighs> Definitely a lot smaller than I thought. He's sat at my feet. He's going to take that again. Ah. Underneath the tree, I thought it looked like a six or seven pounder, but it was more like four. Completely messed my flight up. Come back. That was a really bad strike. We got him. Really bad hook set then. A rod proper slipped out my hand. Thankfully, I got the, the uh, stinger hook on there. So just nipped on that. I do think it helps when the barbless as well. I think they penetrate the mouth of the pike a lot easier. There we have it, really nice hook up. Really simple to unhook to. And look at that, his tail's deformed from an old wound where a bigger pike had hold of him. Lovely pike, probably about four pounds, something like that. Beautiful fish, what a good stamp of fish I've had today. I've only been fishing a few hours. And this has been awesome, great bit of fun. Unlike gear. See you later, bud. There we go, another one. That's a good sized pike again. That's a beast. That is an absolute beast. Oh, what a fish. Crush that fly. I can't even see it. What an absolute unit. 
That is a good sized pike. That is a really good sized pike for the fly. Not fighting a great deal. Whoa. What was I just saying? He's got a massive head. That's got to be a mid double figure pike. What a fish on the fly rod. Oh, he's pulling me now. Ah. Uh, Jesus, Jesus, he's side to fight now, guy acted dopey at first, size of his head I thought it was going to be monster pike, but, oh you know what it is a good fish, that is a very good fish, size of that that is a monster of a pike look at that jig fly right down there I've just caught one of one of the biggest pike I think I've ever caught in my life there it is oh struggling to get it in frame <laughs> this is a fish that's probably an upper double figure pike I mean, you guys can estimate it. I'm not sure exactly how big it'd go, but that is an absolute beast on the fly rod and on one of these snag bro jig flies. So thanks for that, lads. Uh, it's caught me an absolute unit of a river pike. That's insane. I got no scales. This was a quick run out just for a few hours just to see if I could get anything on my new fly rod and to christen it. And it's been an unbelievable session on the river. I lost the first double, changed fly, then I caught a double, loads of sing single digit fish, and this absolute behemoth of a pike. All right, <sighs> might start getting packed up now and go home. That is incredible. One last look at it before we let it go. Look at the size of that fish. Beautiful. What a beast. Oh my god guys, what a cracking session. Sun is just setting now. I'm massively late to being home. I ended up fishing I think about three hours in total. I had to be home for like the three hour mark, so I should have been home now. Never mind. I'm sure my girlfriend will understand when I show her the pictures of that fantastic fish I just caught. In fact I didn't even take any pictures of it, I just released it. Obviously I didn't bring a net with me today. I didn't bring any scales with me today because I was just going out in the float tube just to catch a few jacks. They jumped into the river, left all my gear in the bushes, just brought with me the essentials for fly fishing, wading down the river. Obviously didn't need a net because I was just going to be chinning and dropping these jack pike back into the water. Didn't need any scales because I mean the biggest fish I've ever caught on the fly rod up until this point was about six pound. And I caught some smashing fish, including probably a fish that could have been one of the biggest I've ever caught, pike-wise. Um, I think that fish may have been around the £20 mark. You guys can let me know. I don't want to say because I didn't weigh it and I didn't measure it. I don't know how long it was. I don't know how fat it was. But to me, it felt like it could have been a 20. Either way, that was amazing. And what a catch on the fly. Um, absolutely fantastic. I can't be any happier right now. Um, I'm going to have to go home and convince my girlfriend that being late home and her having to pick the kids up when she doesn't feel very well is worth it because I caught a massive fish. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you like the video, feel free to leave a like down below. If you want to subscribe, it's free and you can see all my up and coming videos that come up in the future. Hopefully more content like this. Might come out again with the fly rod seeing as though it's worked so well this time. And I'll catch you guys later.